Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Bree and Jace, it was no secret this appeal was on its way, especially after the former police colonel made it clear through his attorney that he would be fighting his demotion prior to the department dismissing him altogether. Too harsh. That's one argument made clear in the two-page notice of appeal filed with the Civil Service Commission Tuesday morning. Mark Charfers is fighting the Guam Police Department's dismissal that Chief of Police Jaya Cruz denounced last week. Charfers' termination came just one week after the department demoted him from the rank of colonel to major. His demands? Charfers claims the actions taken violates the due process and equal protection clauses of the U.S. Constitution and the Organic Act of Guam. The appeal document also states the supposed factual findings are inaccurate, incorrect, and filled with assumptions that there is no actual evidence of misconduct. Also, Charfers argues the action taken by GPD management is too harsh for the alleged violation. It was last Christmas Eve police responded to reports of loud explosions thought to be fireworks at an agate home. Responding junior officers and one armed with a body camera came upon Charfers who began yelling at them. The incident led to an investigation from GPD's internal affairs plus a separate investigation after Charfers spoke with the media after being ordered not to discuss the case. Though details have not been released, the findings left the police chief with no other option but to let Charfers go. How confident are you that this decision will actually stick? I am, uh, I am, I am confident. Uh, again, the decision that I have made is based on the merits of the case, the findings of the investigation. That's Police Chief J. Hack Cruz when he announced Charfers' firing last week, standing by it. Charfers has not made any additional public statements since his demotion or his termination. We should note Charfers has experienced navigating the Civil Service Commission, winning most adverse actions he's appealed in past years. Now, this latest appeal also states GPD's leadership actions were not supported by any actual evidence. The police chief had said they would be going uh, through the appeal process. No doubt this will now determine whether or not Charfers will return to the force. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.